the Brave Homeschooling Mama here. Today, I want to give you a quick walkthrough of the inside of the level K of uh, Dude and the Beautiful Math. I made a video uh, last week and I showed all the resources that I'm going to be using with my kindergartner. So I'm going to post that on the cards on top here so you can see that. But I wanted to show you a little bit more in depth what I'm using. So I'm going to show you the inside of the math. So the math came with two course books and the math activity uh, box. So I'm going to show you what's in here first and then I'll show you uh, inside of the course books. So you order the box and it comes everything that you need for math mostly everything is in here and then the course book would tell you a couple more things that you need to add that you probably have at your home okay so i'm going to move the box and show you what's in it so first we have here some garden plant manipulatives for some of our activities pattern blocks Have some blocks counting blocks we will use for many things i'm sure we have toothpicks b manipulatives it came with a little calendar also to do every day we're going to be using something else for calendar that we'll share later on but this is available in there inchworm manipulatives we have the pattern block cards I love pattern blocks we have the place value chart we're gonna be using this to count the days of the week of uh, that many days we've been in school comes comes with two dice a number one and a regular one it also comes with some number cards they're already uh, they are you know perforated and they are you know laminated great quality so number cards and then we have up to 20 and then we have 10 frame cards and shapes we also have some place value pieces to use with a place value chart a part and whole mat and a and a handwriting card this one is laminated durable so we can practice writing with a dry erase marker it also comes with this it is called a reckon rack reckon rack so it's like an abacus so I'm sure we're gonna use this for our 10 base frame. So I'm gonna show you the inside of the course of part one and show you a little bit here. This is the first edition. So we have the table of contents, this one, this the book, it has two course books. This one has 60 lessons in here. In this page, we have a message from Jenny Phillips and why this math program was created. And here it is at a glance. I'm gonna show you here at a glance what so this in this green box we have the prerequisites if your student is able to do the things that are in this box the students are ready for this um, curriculum uh, the course objectives we're going to be working in number recognition number sense and operation patterns geometry measurement we're going to do time length money and graphing okay and bonus materials this memorize and write on phone number okay then on the next page here we have the items that are included in the course book we have the items in the level and the activity box and the standard supplies we always have on hand and additional materials that we're going to need for level k so those are things that you will have to purchase or you probably have at home like a ruler green finger paint play-doh okay here it tells you a little bit of how the daily routine could go just to give you a little guide and how to prepare for the course. You can read also here how to teach multiple children, section and course assessments, you know how to deal with the assessments in here, okay? 
So this is what a lesson will look like. So I'm gonna show you really quick one lesson and then as the year progresses, I am sure I will do some videos of myself and my son doing math lessons. So this little story here, it says here lesson two will direct you when to read this page. So section one, and this is day lesson one. So it looks here like there's a daily lesson uh, in a daily lesson, there's a daily dose. So I'm sure these are things that we're going to be doing every single day, like the calendar, uh, write the date, parents going to demonstrate it, and the place value chart. So that seems to be the things that we're going to be doing every day. Then we're going to have, and then a lesson is going to be right in here, the worksheet, and an independent activity. I'm looking through the book and it seems like at the end of each lesson, there's a bonus independent activity, which is great. Those are things that he can work on, on by himself, okay? So one of the things that I love about this is that the, the worksheets are right here in the course book. So there's not a different teacher book and a um, student workbook. Everything is here. So this is what we need for lesson one, okay? I wanted to show you let me see what lesson it was. I saw a painting. I was looking through this and I saw a Van Gogh. So here in number in lesson seven, um, there's a, so we're gonna be reading a little bit about Van Gogh and doing some math activities by looking at a Van Gogh painting, which is great. So it includes also some art appreciation in our math lessons. And I, I was flipping through, you know, both, you know, course books and you, I will find tons of, um, of paintings in there to study. So that's great. So this is what the lessons look like. They all have kind of the same, they have the same um, structure, the daily dose. We have the calendar, place of the week, write, uh, you write the date, place value chart, and then the lesson, okay? And then the activity that the student's gonna complete is right there, okay? So this is great. Uh, I'm really excited to start this with my son. Uh, it has some great manipulatives and the lessons look really good and colorful and short enough that I think it will be appropriate for a you know, kindergartner. So I'm gonna come back in here when we start doing it and give you more review, how is it going? And also I'm sure we will do some lessons on video. So this was the inside of the math um, kindergarten level of the good and the beautiful. Next time I will share with you also the inside of the language arts K level that I'm going to be using with my kindergarten. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy, enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also if you're a new viewer, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.